Look up, can you Google refinement culture and also the engineer's dilemma? These are two things that are kind of fascinating, but they're, these are big reasons why everything sucks nowadays. Do the, uh, do the uh, B link there, refinement culture. <clears throat> refinement, what is refinement culture? It's uh, the, the, when you have, you, you have something good, right? You have um, v uh, V10, V12, F1 cars, you have 90s, Mercedes, et cetera, and then you have to, conti you have to continue refreshing it and making it new. If you reach, if you reach the zenith, if you reach the local matrix of like what is the the local um, maxima of the what is the best, there's nowhere to go but down. And uh, the one way to uh, you scroll down here, one way to go about it is is simplification. And uh, well, this is this is refinement culture. It's just the streamlining, even of, in the branding, the streamlining of stuff that should not be streamlined. And it goes the most obvious, um, the most obvious place for it is in, in logos and packaging design. That's where it becomes most apparent, but um, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, it, it pervades, uh, it's per pervasive everywhere. Is it like purvey the thought of simplification to the consumer to they realize they're on a train as opposed to showing up to a, like a snack stand? It's just like with the, U with the UI, the same thing happened with the UI in Apple. All the icons that you got used to, I guess, whatever, they get stripped down until it's until it's very silly. Mm -hmm. And I, I just think it's just to get people used to lowering the bar of, of visual quality and beauty and aesthetics, just to annihilate. It annihilates aesthetics. On a, on a level that normal people... That, that people don't catch on until it's all across the board, everyone is refined, and then they're like this, you're paranoid, you're crazy, this is actually cool, we're just making it zippy. No, no, it's <laughs> they make down, Chris. things, everything worse and worse and worse, everything. Like, yeah, that's a good old test. I think theory. it's, uh, I think it's just the byproduct of being a, being a designer and not knowing what to do. Um, and uh, there's, there's like with the, the exterior of the McDonald's, there's stuff that, there's, there's, there's a, there's a, you know, uh, the number, the number of factors that go into this, like anything, there's the cost of materials, there's the, the uh, lack of um, people who know how to, you know, that, that type of building, I would imagine is way easier than building something that looks, it is, that, mm. you know, it's just a pile, it's just like a fucking box. There's no curves. Forced brutalism. Yeah. Yeah. Forced brutalism. It's, it's yeah, brutalism exactly. that's forced by material costs and lack of lack of uh, skilled um, labor and, and architect, architects. Would a fair conversation be to say that like uh, popular minimalism put forth by like guys like Steve Jobs in the early 2000s or like or mid 2000s or whatever, whenever the, that like ultima clear Japanese minimalism sort of like was the start because everybody's trying to imitate that like sleek. Yeah. One button. I think yeah. I think I think that's all it all ties together. It's yeah. all kind of the same re it's yeah. like it's like a domino effect of like or uh, whatever. It's you know. it's been going on forever. Every time they bulldoze or demolish something that's been around for 150 years that looks splendid, I don't know what what the the style is of it. They annihilate it and they turn it into a concrete cube. It's like it's it's the thing that they love to do. Scroll down, Chris. That that's What's the first text here say subtle shift blah 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 refund from uh uh, essentially, down. it's war on warfare on beauty. Is essentially what it is. You know, it's it's funny that you, like you said, logo and packaging design. You guys are able to like compartmentalize it from that point, like to to take it apart and be like, it's logo and design. I think that's where it's most obvious. It's that's a good point. Yeah. Um, Cadillac is gonna fall totally mm -hmm. because of this. Mm. Like Cadillac has no you know, like Oldsmobile and Pontiac. Like we're cut off to streamline the GM. Mm -hmm. Cadillac as a whole is gonna be like. We don't know what the hell you are anymore. And then, like, what they would have to do is to create a whole line of cars so they have something. Right. Without it, you look cheap and stupid. Saab tried to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like a, for auto companies, when they try to go, they have to be like, look, we have a wagon. We have a little car. We have a big car. We have a medium car. A big SUV, medium SUV, small. If you don't have the full line, you look like a fucking pussy. Mm -hmm. You look mm -hmm. like you're showing up to the, the dinner with a, a half of an appetizer. And all the, you know <laughs> what happens to those car companies? They go out of business. Mm -hmm. No one gets to be, I'm the SUV guy. Mm -hmm. No one gets to be the I'm the sedan guy. Nope. You have to be full line or else you're going out of business. And I, I, I just said that yesterday. Hmm. I was having a conversation. And it sounds, sounds kind of like that. Like this shit. Like, uh, I prefer specialists. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you guys like, like you know, like you like, like the, the macabre, <laughs> the rare. But it's not like you like rare. It's just like you like specialty cool only. 